Guys, so I've done another one of my Alco um, brass models. This is a DL600B high hood, but it's actually an RSD 15 or 14 or something along those lines. Um, this is also, it's Alco models, but it's also KMT. So Alco models is the ones that made them on behalf of KMT, who making them on behalf of Agent. I don't know, it's a bit of a story back in the 60s when these things were made. So this is a 1968 model. Um, I just want to show you the frame before I show you the finished model. So this is what I ended up doing. I've, um, this is brass models, guys. So this has been painted, weathered. Um, I've got a nice, uh, this is a Proto 2000 a P2K motor in it. Um, I made a custom drive. I'll show you what I did with the drive. So that is actually insulation, um, heat insulation that I've just melted in with a soldering iron. I've got a little brass, brass bush inside there. And then here's just a little flex tube rubber, just to give it a bit of flexibility. Um, I didn't need to do anything on the gear towers. These gear towers looked really good. The gears looked like they were still brand new. Um, did a bit of insulation everywhere. I fitted a Soundtrack Tsunami soundboard in it. And for what, it's, for what it is, I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I'll also show you the Alco C630. Oh, I'm so sick of that thing at this point in time. But I finally got everything working on it. There's no bind points on it. Um, it didn't short, it was just around corners, it was holding on. It was that gear tower. So I managed to get a new gear replaced for it. A nightmare to get the gears pulled off. Eventually got that right. And then after all the work, I figured I might as well just fix the red line on it because that was really bugging me. And yeah, it was a lot of work getting that thing up and ready. So I'll show you this one. I've got another one exactly like this um, RSD15 to do. And I'll show you the two of them in, in future. So without further ado, let me show you the finished product. I picked this up and show you. 